Hey guys, this is Fortnite. Gonna be a little longer video. It's been since my last video, it's been 40 some days. Today is June 26, 2024, 12:51 p.m. Wednesday afternoon, and the uh, market is still going on. Let's talk about my uh, my thoughts and ideas, and maybe some trade ideas, maybe. Okay. First of all, finally, the uh, Nvidia. Let's take a look at Nvidia. Nvidia, where I actually, you know, would uh, I didn't make any posts because I I'm, I'm not a big fan of trading large caps, and I usually take profits pretty fast because it's kind of hard for large caps to let's say double in price, triple in price, and so on. But Nvidia did almost triple in price, and uh, the purchase would have been here. But you know, I pretty much took profit somewhere here literally got like a tiny piece of it i never got back into the stock as did just kept on going without giving me a rest it rested here but i didn't trust it but it did got going went up like 50 percent, right and uh this thing has been leading the market matter of fact i think nvidia is the market right it's bigger it has bigger market capitalization than some of the countries out there and uh it's been leading the market and Finally, we're starting to see some crack happening. Let's take a look at the daily chart. On this day right here, it came down on pretty big volume, and that was after the stock split it 10 to 1. Now, it's a bad move by Nvidia, in my opinion. 10 to 1 is like, why, why, like it's not real. Like, why would you do that? Like, I, I get it. It's to reduce the price so that people, regular people, will buy your stock. But that creates a lot of. It basically, basically makes it super liquidatable like there's too many shares which in other words there is going to be too much supply when the stock starts to failing like if the growth doesn't support the price anymore like what well, the moment we start seeing tiny bit of slowing down in the growth which will happen this thing will fall like crazy especially <coughs> after <coughs> 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 uh, Jensen the one is is trying to kill me. <laughs> He's planted his chips in my body. Anyways, a 10 to 1 split, like come on. That is ridiculous. That's too much, too much supply. I don't think it's safe to hold this thing any longer. But I know there's uh, I'm not an Nvidia hater, trust me. I'm just analyzing it really objectively. A 10 to 1 split causes too much supply, which means it's slow down in growth will pretty much destroy this stock that's my opinion i could be wrong but that's my opinion so i'm not i'm not a big fan of holding nvidia ever to be honest and uh which means that the overall general market is probably going to start to slow down a tiny bit we have seen the market been advancing i know people probably have been fomoing a lot buying stock buying stuff here and there but there hasn't really been stuff that works especially well for a let's say a high growth play like a small cap stock that could that you could buy it that has shows strength shows a lot of growth you'll buy it maybe hold it for thousands of percent we want those kind of markets when the small when the small cap market gets going day traders swing traders and growth investors pyramid uh you know longer term traders that's when all of us makes a lot of money and we're not in that type of market yet i know it's crazy to say that to say that now we're what about 14 percent above all-time high it's not don't feel fomo don't feel like you've missed stuff i don't think things have even gone really started yet nvidia kick-started the whole thing but nvidia is an old name and old stock huge cap you know it only tripled in price I know I, I might sound crazy for saying it only triple in price it only tripled in price and it's like almost the only stock that tripled in price everything else is either like they're, they're not bouncing off the high making breaking new high prices right nothing crazy like that and the reason is because let's look at let's take a look at iwm that's the small cap which is a more accurate in my opinion a more accurate representation of the market and we're still in this range since 2022 you know start of 2021 and then this range of 2022 things are getting better we're moving to the higher side of the of the base but we're still below the 2020 high right here until we get close to it until this thing really starts going i doubt 
like you can really become really rich like you can make money in the in this market for sure don't get me wrong but it's not easy to become rich too not easy to become a millionaire right now i'll be honest with you guys and uh main reason i'll be honest with you guys is because there aren't that many setups the setups aren't clear they aren't clear they're not like you know pop out right in our face yeah sure there's some nvidia and other stuff but that's about it right uh yeah so to be honest my av my advice to everybody is to stay cash and just wait for better setup to show up because there aren't that many as far as i can see there is a couple garbage setup that i'm probably not going to share with you guys because i'm not going to trade them but pay attention to the iwm once this thing starts to get better perhaps we'll start to see a bit better of a setup this is the weekly chart so not yet we're at least a couple weeks away from good setups i'm showing up right and that's that mostly sums up for this video basically i'm more pessimistic on the market so far i believe that there aren't that aren't too many setups so i got something else to show you guys is there are markets that can be really profitable right now and that not the indian market because uh, i find no ways to trade them but the japanese market actually shows a lot of favorable things um if you take a look at the japanese market we are bringing out into give me one second guys let me open something um okay if you take a look at the japanese market oops let me show you guys the chart we're breaking this is a daily chart let's open the weekly chart on the weekly chart this thing broke out into from this high right here into a new high ground made and made another base and then after it made a base it went up and made another move to the higher side and each time it makes a move like that it's at least how much 20 percent from here and uh, another 22 percent from here and it pulls back here for 10 percent and last time it pulled back it pulled back about 10 percent so it's been really really constructive in the uh japanese in the nikkei 225 right this is the overall market of japan and i think that um, look at um, like the fact that it's so healthy means that there are a lot of setups showing up and i'm going to show you guys two after this two of the best ones as far as i can see and let's take a look at the all-time chart for japan this will be the monthly chart you can see i know my my webcam is blocking a little bit i'm gonna move it as you can see that the uh this is monthly chart for since 1965 right in the late in the early in the late 880 late 80s and the early 90s of japan they made great highs right the market pretty much went crazy it went per uh what is that what's that word called uh but you get you get what i'm saying it, it, it went parabolic right and then for the last 30 years it pretty much died down and for the first time since the 90s we're testing the high here and the price seems to be holding and that is crazy if you guys think about it right for the last 30 years this market has been dead and now we're approaching that high so i think there's probably one of the greatest opportunity in the japanese market that is currently presenting and uh yeah that's that's my opinion and let's take a look at a couple stocks and also the uh japanese market in the, just about on the june 10th monday it showed a great buying volume on the on a green on the monday and the price was up 1.5 percent on huge volume which kind of tells me huh somebody is over here buying in this pullback which kind of tells me that okay we're probably going towards the end of this uh pulling back and a couple setups i have is nine three four th sorry nine three four three ibis this is a i think a drawing and art app company that also does some other stuff and if we look at take a look at the stock it's pretty much off the high over almost what 200 percent and then it made a little base if we draw the trend line on the daily chart that's the trend line i drew right we got below it 
and then quickly bounce off of it which is a you know kind of like a shake out undercut and then gets going to the upside and since that it's been up about 37 percent and i still think this thing has a chance to go higher just because we're above the all-time high and if this market is actually a super constructive healthy market that's going to last at least a year or two i think this thing has much higher places to go right 9343 ibis another stock i have in hand is 13436 green energy and company this is a company that mainly focuses on solar stock on solar panels and other green reusable energy sort of a uh, stock in japan and this is just my little theory with how hot every year has been i live in ohio okay and uh in the last week it's been over 95 degrees it's been extremely hot and i've heard that it's getting hotter and hotter in a lot of the countries right with it getting with every summer getting so hot i feel like soon solar panel wouldn't be too bad of a thing because that is what solar panel does right the stronger the more chance of us getting sunlight the more energy it makes right i think that's pretty self-explanatory with that being said i think solar stock is going to be pretty big i think last time when i talked about emph i was a little bit too ahead of its time perhaps and the stock didn't work out but with this setup what what kind of setup am i seeing now first of all let's take a look at uh, the um weekly chart monthly chart the stock is currently still in this range which is honestly not a good thing we want i want to see this thing break out and then consolidate above it and then we take a look at the weekly chart now the reason i bought this stock is because it went up 114 percent in one week now that's number one number two is after it went up the max they ever consolidated ever pulled back was 13 percent this is a famous pattern called the high tide flag and uh pretty rare and only happens in a bull market the only problem is we're not high tide flagging into the all-time high but we are close enough that i say you know it's viable it's below less than 15 percent from all-time high so i bought the stock above this high at two thousand two thousand dollars two two thousand yen and uh it's been going pretty well so far pulling back again and perhaps it gets going again we'll see but th these are the two stocks that i think is extremely well and uh performing really, really well in the japanese market and i have yet to find something similar in the uh, american market last time i bought something that went up 100 percent was drct but guess what happened right drct i bought the stock around was it here it could be there oh yeah i did buy i bought the stock right here. i still have the line from before i bought the stock somewhere here and there and this is the daily chart let's take a look at the weekly chart it's easy to see on the weekly chart in about one two three weeks right in a mere three week period the stock went up 87 percent and i thought well that's uh that's a sign where the market is getting well and if this thing continues and go higher then i could get myself a really really nice move and what happens next is that there's probably some financial fraud or something stock went down 97 percent i had to cut cut the stock somewhere around here and which sucks it's really ass but so far that's the market so i'm pretty pessimistic for the u.s market for now it could change in about four days or a couple of weeks but as of right now i'm not a big fan of buying the u.s mark uh, u.s stocks there's just simply not that many setups i will start buying and i'll talk i'll definitely post twitter i know i've been posting car stuff and stuff on twitter and kind of not posting trade ideas it's not because i'm not sharing it's because there's just simply not that many and then recently with car stuff i got rear-ended two weeks ago and i sent my shop to jake sweeney's uh auto shop stuff and they've been like scamming me they've been telling me, oh they, they they were telling me like oh they ordered the parts parts are ready and then two days two days later they called me oh they haven't ordered the parts yet i don't know what the hell do like body shops like dealer body shops do things but it's just awful you know jesus christ 
th and that got me more pessimistic on the U.S. market because the U.S. market is a representation of the U.S. economy, right? And the U.S. economy is a representation of the how people do business. And so far, I've been getting garbage, garbage services on my day-to-day -day life. And yeah, so quick summary of today's video. U.S. market, no setup, no buy. Japanese market, looks healthy, got set up, I buy. Getting pessimistic about the U.S. market because my day-to-day -day life has been garbage. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys maybe next week, maybe 40 days later, maybe 100 days later. Who knows, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace. If more people like my, if more people wants me to make more videos, you guys should tell me in the comments. This way I get more motivated to make videos. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.